Hello everyone. Let's move on to lecture number 34 where we are going to discuss a very small thing. The thermodynamic equation of state for all substances. So you know the equation of state for ideal gases which is PV equals to nRT. But uh, you can have equation of state for all substances and these are uh, these can be derived thermodynamically. So this, that's why they are named as the thermodynamic equation of state and they can be applied for all substances uh, in the real gas in the liquid or in the solid and definitely they can also be applied in the ideal gases also. So in order to do that we have to start from the fundamental equation of thermodynamics equation number a T equals to TDS minus PDV. Now uh, dividing both sides by dv and imposing the condition of constant temperature we can get this one this one divided by dv at constant temperature that means it becomes since it the temperature is kept constant it becomes a partial differentiation so it is del u by del bt and here it is del s by del bt and here dv and dv cancel by each other so it is simply minus p now let's rearrange this equation after having rearranged this we can get p equals to T into del s del bt minus del u del bt okay now from the Maxwell's relations just uh, that we have derived in the previous lecture in place of this parameter del u uh, sorry this parameter del s del bt we can put here del p del t v okay and if I ask you from which uh, relationship it was obtained then you can easily say there are v there is v and t okay so since there are v and t so this is function of a so from da you can derive them okay so instead of uh, del s by del v t we are putting here del p del t v so this is one of the equations of state okay so this is denoted as equation number a similarly we are going to have another one which is obtained from the relationship dh equals to tds plus vdp similarly we are dividing both sides by dp and imposing the condition of constant temperature then it becomes del h by del pt and here it becomes del s by del pt and dp dp cancelled by each other so simply plus v is left here then after having rearranged we get p equals to minus p into del s del pt plus del h del pt and then put the Maxwell's relationship. Can you say what can be applied here? It is P and T. That means it is obtained from G. Okay. Then you will get P cross multiply V for getting energy dimension. S cross multiply T for getting energy dimension. So it should be del V del uh, del V by del T. Okay. At constant P. And here this negative sign would vanish because uh, it is the relationship is obtained from G so it is a negative relationship so simply put minus uh, uh, instead of minus del s del pt you can put here del v del t p so simply we're getting we're getting another expression in terms of v here so this is equation number b so what is equation number b now volume equals to t to del v del t p plus del h del v t so let's draw the conclusion equation a and b are the thermodynamic equations of state which are related to the variables pressure volume and temperature of all the system the importance of these equations are that they can be applied to the system at any state such as solid or liquid or real gas under all conditions one thing it is not written here they can also definitely be applied to the ideal gases also okay so that's all for this topic thank you have a nice day